Okay, we said the best mental game is a good ball reaction. The ball reaction is given to you by the tactical part, because that's how we said that no matter how mentally strong you are, if your ball has a horrible reaction, there is no type of mental strength that is worth it. Okay, you're not going to win the tournament. Oh, you can stay calm, you can keep yourself from getting angry, you can keep all that, but you're not going to win just because you're mentally very strong. I can, I can, I can. 190, 265. Cinco. I can, I can. 187, 279. Nueve. You cannot. <laughs> okay. Okay. You hit 1 minus 3 10 times. The other hits 1 minus 3 9 times. You roll 2 minus 10. He shoots 2 minus 60. You cannot. It's not I'm mentally strong and I won. No. There are certain things about the mental part. Where does one really have to be strong mentally? And there are exercises for that, and there are a series of mental training. When? When do you see the difference between someone who has a good mental game and someone who doesn't have a good mental game? When is the competition between one and the other strong? Or pressure? Pressure, competition? Pressure, competition? The only time where that difference becomes noticeable is when you have a very good ball reaction. I have everything to win, I have to do as well as Cal. If I can't it's because I have a mental problem and that's where you have to learn to deal with that player. You won't show a good mental game when you don't have a ball reaction. Because when you don't have a ball reaction, you're not going to win. The good mental game or the bad mental game, a mind says, it has everything, it had a zone this size, it had been playing super well, but when it was necessary to play well because it was, because now it was worth it and it was the last game and I don't know what, he threw 150 and the other didn't. That is where the mental deficiency is such as generated in terms of the strength of the game. Not when you have no shots, but when you have everything to win and you can't pull the trigger, when you can't cross the line and you had everything, you were first and you had everything and you had the best ball reaction and you couldn't cross the line. That's where you have to work with someone from the mental side. But that thing that I don't have a mental game, I don't have a reaction, but I'm going to win because I'm mentally strong, that's an illusion. That doesn't exist in real life. No player who has been on the tour, who has played in world championships, knows that without ball reaction I cannot win. But who is it that is said to have a bad mental game or a weak mental game? The one who had everything to win and couldn't. That's the one who has the problem, not the other one.